Right, this is part two of Sheila's visit to Marnhall in the summer of um, 2008 on a family tree research trip into the, the Bastables, um, Lamberts, Hatchers, Plowmans, all sorts of people. Um, some graves were discovered and I actually went inside the church and located some uh, inf information in the form of a Millennium Album which had all the First World War soldiers in it and sailors, some with pictures. Um, so another visit is going to be needed to uh, take more detailed look at this. So anyway, here we here we go. This is the now going over to the live tape recording which I did as I wandered around the graveyard scanning the graves. And I suffered with asthma by the way, I was always heavy breathing going on. <laughs> Fanny Plowman, who died in 1957 and 70, also Hadley John Haskett Plowman. I thought the Plowmans and the Haskets were related. He died in um, 1968. Yeah, I've got Haskett. Well, I haven't done all the Haskett graves, so I can't remember the... That would have to be another time. There's a big one of a Bastable. I might take a picture of this one. We've got William Fred Bastable, who passed away in 1951, aged 80 years, and Jesse Elizabeth Bastable, beloved wife of the Buff, who died in 1955, aged 83. That's a huge square... Um, grave with green little stones on it, and then there's some other people having an open book. Um, Laura May Bastable died. I think it's 19. It's not very clear. She was 83 anyway. And Cecil Bastable who died 1985 is 78. That's quite a big grave actually. I won't take any pictures yet. So we have connected them all. There's another Hatcher, Marge Hatcher, 1970s, she died. Oh, we're going the trees, under Conquer Tree. And the place is just in the shade is George. Now, Herbert George Bustable died 1902, age 56, and Mary Jane, who died 1920, age 74. That's hidden away in the bushes. Oh, there's another Hatcher. I can read it. James Hugh Hatcher, who died 1927, age 67. Also, Ernest, died 1929, age 42. Also of them is James Hugh Hatcher, who died 1947, aged 90. Right, here we've got an upright, <coughs> grassy looking cross on three pence. In loving memory of Edwin Fred Bastable, died May the 5th, 1920, aged 71. There might be somebody at the bottom. And his wife, Rhoda, oh yeah, I've come across her, Rhoda Jane, <laughs> died May the 19th, 1931, aged 81, reunited. I'll take a picture of this one as a sample of the Bastables. <coughs> Behind Edwin Fred Bastable, there is that Hatcher grave, James Hugh Hatcher, that I did earlier. Mary Ann. Beloved daughter of James and Elizabeth Hatcher, who died 1807, aged 21 years. I think Mary's down there as well. We've got a couple of Coombs graves here, Robert and Elizabeth Coombs, and a Sarah Coombs. Oh, there was an Adam as well. In loving memory of dear mum and dad, Winifred Dorothy Adlem, who died 18... 19, 1973, and Herbert Henry Adlam died 
like 1975 H.T. That Adlams are connected somewhere or other. Oh, I found another Bastable. Edgar Bastable died March the 23rd, 1867, aged 70. The grass wherein the plough, something or other. Anyway, and Jane Bastable, wife of the above, who died January the 28th, 1889, aged 88. Happy Solvay day are ended, all thy mourning days below, go by angel guards attended to the sight of Jesus go. Well, that sounds familiar, those two basketballs, Edgar, well it's not Edgar, Elijah, Elijah Bastable and Jane, Elijah. We've got another memory of dear wife, mother and grand, May Lillian, Plowen, known as Molly, died 18th of November 1991, she's 77. God bless. Also, beloved husband, father and gramps, Bertley Henry Richard, died 14th of July 1996, age 85. So that's another plowman. There's a large um, memorial as well, a great big pole thing, a big plinth, to the 1914-1918 war with uh, George Bustle on there. Then several Hatchers, Hugh James, Joseph, Reg, yeah, Joseph Hatcher. Um, so those are all families that are related to Sandy and Daisy and Amber and Harry. Right, that's the end of the um, trip look around the Marnhall Church of um, St. Gregory. And quite a few basketballs, hatches. So that's something I can put together for Sandy. It's a very old village, you can tell it's very old. It's got all the old bath stone, Romany looking. She has started about here and there. Right, the wind's getting up, the two black clouds, I'm going to go on. Right, that was just a, a, a smaller part to the Marne Hill visit. Um, there will be lots of tape recordings throughout the tree of various villages that I went to, and I've sort of plotted them under the names of people that are associated with those villages. So um, that's all for now. I'm probably going to go off to Motcombe now and put that tape on. Over and out for now.